$8 million within five years for the, for the property. That's a big, big investment. Councilmember Martin. Thank you, Mayor. And uh, Councilmember Davis and I had a very lively discussion yesterday with a number of people on the administration staff. And I even brought up your case because I remember it specifically when I always oppose these things because we get them every December. And I always, I guess I channel count my predecessor, Councilmember Sullivan, a little bit on this. But I think Councilmember Davis has a good point. I think the conclusion that we sort of agreed to was that we need to take a look at the ordinance itself, especially as it relates for not individual property, but an historic district where you have a number of houses in that area. And what exactly is the public benefit of doing a lot of interior reservations, oh, renovations. Sorry about that, Mr. Architect. But especially when you deal with the interior, which you, you look at from the street, as I used to drive these homes many times to look at them, you, you don't see a lot of work going on on the exterior, but I'm assuming there's a lot of interior work. So. I think the takeaway from this is maybe to look at this ordinance and to, to Councilmember Davis's point is to put some meat into it where we actually do have a, a substantial public benefit of doing things that I'm assuming Mayor Lanier wanted to do when he originally brought this up in front of Council many years ago. So I think it's a good idea. I think it's something that we need to look at. I think the administration team that we talked with yesterday also realized it. I think their point is is that they have to follow the ordinance in black and white, and that's what they're doing in this case. And as I always do, I'll vote against this. Councilmember Pennington. <clears throat> uh, thank you, Mayor. I've done a little bit of thinking about this since I, I knew it was going to be on the agenda. As, as, as most of you know, my wife was involved very early in the, in the preservation movement with that. I mean, she and Bart Truxillo used to uh, give tours downtown before it was fashionable to do so. And they were, they were lucky enough to uh, have Manette Basil, who had just moved to town uh, on one of their tours, and they got Manette involved. And of course, she was trained to do this. And, uh, she carried, carried the torch, and, and now the Preservation Alliance is a very uh, worthwhile organization that does a lot of good. They give the Good Brick Awards, and there are a lot of, happily, there are a lot of competition for those. And uh, I think historic preservation is, is very, very important uh, to our city. I know I was over in the Heights, so the Heights Association uh, meeting at the restored uh, uh, firehouse and uh, City Hall over there. And of course, Bill Baldwin has done a lot there, as, as a lot of others. <clears throat> and there was a real neighborly, it was a real neighborly event. People were talking to each other. And I firmly believe that one of the reasons that's the case is that they, they, they share an interest in, in the preservation of their area, of, uh, you know, the structures as, as well as, as being neighborly. So uh, we, we live in a landmark house, but I, I think we did qualify for the tax exemption, but I, but I elected not to do that. But I think that some houses would be preserved, uh, and some buildings would be preserved without it, and a lot, lot more would not be preserved. And so my point is that I think the preservation of historical buildings, uh, including homes, is very, very important to our city. Uh, as I said, it, 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 uh, it helps us uh, remind us where we came from, and uh, it also, I think, uh, promotes <coughs> neighborliness and, and, and a feeling of the city. I mean, most people, when they come to a city, uh, they wanna, don't want to see necessarily the latest high-rise that's been built. They want to see a building that's been around for a while or a house that's been around for a while. So and I think it's very important to have a program like this, and I do think that the, the public value, as the mayor has said, is is, is the preservation of these of, of these structures? As I said, some of them would be preserved, you know, without the tax tax benefit. A lot of them would not, given the value of land these days. So, uh, even though I didn't take advantage of it myself, I think I'm I'm strongly in favor. 